as we enter the park there's a few things you need to know one being when you cross this line coming up here you see the sign there you pay to park now most people don't but I do it anyway How is everyone doing today? Hope you're doing good. Anyway, we're at Marvin Broad Mulholland Gateway Park. Okay, before I start my hike, there's a few things I like to do to prepare for the hike. I have a feeling the weather here is 89, if not 90 degrees. I like to get my cardio belt on and my cardio watch also like to put some bug repellent on. It keeps those little black bugs from flying in my mouth and my face and my eyes and my ears. And I put a little uh, sunscreen on my arms. Uh, bring up a bottle of water and I did forget my whistle, which is with my bicycle right now. Okay, I'm gonna put on the cardio watch and we'll get going. And I forgot to mention, I found a body in a ravine about a year ago, and I'm going to show that to you as well. Okay, as we approach the yellow gate, you'll go around this way. I want to point something out to you from down below. We'll be going up that hill, which comes around and hits this spot here. Where it hits that flat land right there. All right, we're going up that gray. We're going to take a look at the cardio watch before we head up there. Hopefully I got it so you can start seeing it better this time. We're at 125. I need to be at 130 to 137. The calorie says 100 and... I'm sorry, it says 251 calories burnt so far. All right, so heading up that hill. We'll see what it is at the top of the hill. All right, here we come now. It also has a sign here that says Topanga State Park. Okay, we're reaching the top. This street dirt trail is actually Mulholland Drive. Let's take a look at the cardio watch. The calories it put down earlier was incorrect. Uh, I think it said something like 200. That was way off. All right, we're at 153 percent of my calorie I mean heart rate and we're at 78 calories all right and so far we have <laughs> we've done 11 minutes much more fun hiking than getting on a cardio machine but like I've stated for Will Laker Park it's perfect for cardio because it gets you on those upgrades and then your heart rate is way above your target heart rate but you only really need it to be at your target heart rate then it has some downgrades let your heart rate come back down then you go right back into some upgrades so the thing about cardio is you're supposed to go up to your target heart rate and stay up there for a minute or three usually within 10 percent of your target heart rate all right we're coming to the end of our downgrade and now we do the upgrade all right let's take a look at the cardio watch because my calorie uh my target heart rate should be very low oh which it is it is at god i wish you could i can hopefully you see these. it's hard to see if you're getting this because the sun on my glaring on my recorder it says I'm at 117 of my target heart rate and I'm at 190 calories and I forgot to mention just a second ago we are 26 minutes into this hike I want to say it again you know getting on a treadmill elliptical stair climber any type of uh, cardio machine uh, you get on that for say 30 minutes and you'll be lucky to hit around the 300 maybe 350 calories 
and for an hour you might hit around that 600 range. Uh, as you saw a moment ago, we are at 200 calories and only a, not even 30 minutes into this uh, cardio hike. All right, we're coming to the top of this upgrade and see, we're hitting 145% of my target heart rate. We're at 232 calories. Hopefully you can see that. I can't tell if you can. And now we're gonna do a downgrade that'll let the heart rate rest a little bit. And you know, these rests make it a little easier to want to come and burn this body fat off. See, from here, we're coming where that individual is way down there. That's the base of this downgrade. And then you'll see it goes upgrade. Get that heart rate going again. And the length of upgrade is what will get that heart rate up. And again, as I've said in other hike cardio videos, the length of time that you do cardio is the best thing because once you've got your heart rate uh, at your target heart rate, uh, how long you do the cardio, that's the second uh, secret. And that way you don't, you don't need to run through all this stuff. I see people running, whether it's here or running. They run, now I'm hoping that that's because they're trying to do long distance running because all that's gonna do is get your endurance so high uh, body fat actually won't burn as as much. All right, we're at the foothills of the headlands. We're at the base of the upgrade, and uh, we're going to take a little side trike and go through there. And if I'm lucky to find it, uh, got a little fun surprise for you. We look at the cardio heart watch. <laughs> the cardio heart watch, I guess. Calorie counter. And let's see if I get the sun to shine just right. Ooh, that's perfect. 128% of my target heart rate at 274 calories. We are we are 32 minutes into this hike so far. Okay, 30 minutes. To reach 276 calories is a lot easier than doing that on a cardio machine. Okay, here's what's going to set the calorie count off a little bit because if I find what I'm looking for back here, we follow up these steps, there's a surprise I hope to find. I found it a long time ago, but I can't remember exactly where it was, but this looks pretty much like the direction I went. I'm going to go up this spooky hill. I thought I'd give you a chance to see where we came from. And then we came up those steps, and we're coming this way. And it's leading us up the trail. Now I'm told that uh, in hikes you should be careful about ticks. Interesting facts I looked up. I always thought ticks were just something dogs got outside your home. But apparently they're running wild out here. Well, in all the parks, not this one only. Uh, so I looked it up, apparently a tick, if you don't catch them right away, you've got some time to find them because they don't actually uh, make a home of you for, I think it was about a day. I don't know if it was 12 hours or 24 hours. So, but you don't want them on you in the first place. So. Uh, a lot of times they say wear long pants and close off the cuffs. Well, I'm a daredevil. I'm wearing shorts. All right, we're on this spooky trail. And uh, get a little look here. Our target heart rate, if I can get it to 150. And our calorie count, get it right, is 327. Just trying to get the sun to shine just right so you can actually see that for proof all right hopefully you can see it in that one all right so we're going up this trail and then we're going to follow it all the way up to here it'll bend around that bend 
Well, as you can hear, I'm breathing pretty heavy, but doing good. I'm not going to show you the watch, but it does say I'm at 153 of my target heart rate. Anyway, I'm hoping this is the correct trail that I took before. What I, the surprise is a body. So hopefully it's still there. Uh, like I said, if we're on the right trail, it shouldn't be too much further to find the uh, body. Uh, let's stop at the top here. I see you can go up here, and if I remember right, it does go beyond, way beyond there. All right, let's take a look at the cardio watch. Whew. Okay, we're at 154 percent of my total cardio, <laughs> total target heart rate. And hopefully you can see it in the upper right corner. It's 413 calories there. Hopefully that focused in. And so far, since we're off trail a little bit here, we are 43 minutes into this cardio hike. All right, and we took off trail. Now we're gonna go this way, and I believe this is the trail so i can show you the surprise of the body i found about a year ago all right as we pass the creepy tree there and follow this narrow trail doesn't look like anyone's been on it in a long time or at least maybe since they discarded this body all right, we're coming up on it. All right, hold your hold your anticipation. Try not to freak out, because there it is. I'm looking at it. Let me back up, get the view of it from the back. Car body. So, looks like it's a 210, the Datsun 210. Those are classics. Incredible. Still trying to figure out how it got here. Uh, when you look up over this hillside and on that other side of the hill is the main trail we came off to get here. Uh, it's incredible how they got this thing here. I'm guessing I'm guessing it was a movie movie prop where they, you know, probably a Mission Impossible original show or some other Magnum PI or something, who knows. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to get the view from all angles while I'm holding my bottled water. A little bit of a close-up here. Yeah. Oh, did I not make that clear? This is a car body. I don't know. Did I do that on purpose? <laughs> All right, suspension's over, right? So how I found that body, oops, car body, is I had hiked, I'd come out of this trail that, that we were just on earlier, and I went up this trail and went on beyond it, and of course it goes way over there. But on the way back, as I came down, I saw this red shiny thing. So I followed this trail all the way back in there. And that's when I saw that it was a car body. <laughs> One more way back. That's cool. <laughs> Where? <laughs> All right. Anyway, I was turning the uh, camera back on, 
to uh, show that I'm coming out of the special secret place. I've tricked myself out of cardio calories because I forgot to put the calorie watch back on. Alright, here's where I have to decide whether I want to go that way or go back to the parking lot. Uh, take a look at the cardio watch. We're at 133 of my target heart rate. Hopefully you can see that it says 446 calories. Now, uh, we've been 46 minutes on I'm trying to get the sun to shine on it so I can see if it's working. Ah, oh, there we go. 46 minutes on this particular hike. Now I'm going to go this way a little bit. This is actually heading uh, towards the east. I decided to walk further away from the parking lot and go a little bit further east. Uh, actually, we're facing east north if you want true coordinates. Uh, I, I decided to go in this direction because my calorie count is only uh, 454 calories. If I head back now, I might get lucky and hit 800, but I want to get my heart rate back up again and see if I can hit it, hit a little bit over the 800 and uh, maybe 900 calories, although I doubt it'll go that high. Just depends on how far this way I go on how many calories I'll hit. Oh, and uh, the true time right now is four, <laughs> sunlight can't see shit. Uh, uh, it's nine minutes after 4 p.m. We started this hike at 3 p.m. Uh, at least at the car. Okay, normally that's the main trail and it goes around and you see it pop up there, it goes around this hillside. Let me kind of show you something, it just hit me to, to do this. Uh, you know, I got the shakes so much. Uh, the the hike oh, there it is. There's my finger can't find it all the time. Okay, it goes up through there Disappears in, into this crevice that you see right in between here this v-shape then it pops up again And then it goes if I've got the aim right comes out here right there is where we started that tells you how far away We've we've come <laughs> so Okay Anyway when I do these hike cardios um, I do repeat some of my information because I don't expect everyone to want to watch all these videos. But let me give you some other information I don't believe I've talked about in uh, any of the ones that have come previous to this one. Uh, when I do cardio, I try to do it on a completely empty stomach. Meaning, when I wake up, that's the time to go do cardio. There is argument about that I don't agree with. Um, the argument is you'll burn just as many calories. Um, I'm not sure what they meant by that, but if I were to, if I were really to put my mind to it, I think what they are saying because they're hearing it from somebody else, you're going to build, uh, you're going to burn just as many calories. Yes, it's where where those calories come from. You want them to come from the stored fat. All right. And the only way I can reasonably understand that to happen is when there's no new food in your system. Otherwise, it'll use that first. That's why it's called stored fat. It's stored there in case you're on a desert island. <laughs> I don't know how these guys have the endurance to, to get these bikes up. I know where that hill goes. <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy. All right, anyway. Uh, oh, here's one coming up. <laughs> so, nice people. Okay, anyway, uh, you see, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I've done a lot of research, a lot of reading, and the body actually uses calories for different things. Um, growing hair, 
uh, you know, pumping the blood. That's what calories go to. That's why when you do your calorie uh, deciphering, uh, you divide it by four. I know I've talked about this in, in the past on the videos. You divide it by four, that's a rough estimate. That'll give you something more true to what body fat calories you've actually burnt. And I know this from my research that I've done, but more so hands on. There's another fact uh, that's was that was in my book uh, to get my certification as a personal trainer, which I do pretty much part-time and I do it out of my house So I, it's one-on-one -on -one training that I do for my clients uh, The book says and if I remember the the number I think it's 0 0.71 but there's a level of sleep that you reach if you're getting a good deep sleep that's when your so-called thermostat comes on and starts burning body fat at a hundred percent per hour that's incredible because you can't do that no matter how hard you work on cardio on tread machines on hiking you can't do that it's a an amazing part of the body on how it works. From where I was last, we are hitting the base of a upgrade. So the heart rate should start going back up. Let's see where it is right now. I'll just tell you, it's uh, 131 with 400, whoops, 600 calories. Let me show you. I need proof of that myself. Okay, it's at 132 of my target heart rate. 605 calories, if I'm reading that right. So we're heading back towards the parking lot. And like I said, these upgrades are very important. To get that cardio back up to the target heart rate and then when you get off these upgrades and they start turning into downgrades we get a little rest it's those rest periods that makes our mind really want to continue doing this and get success on losing body fat you know most people when they're in the gym you know and it is important to use a machine from time to time but most people who are in the gym, that gets boring really fast. It makes it hard and people don't realize how much work, how many calories you gotta burn to actually burn a full pound of body fat. It's immense. Because of that, people give up. They think, hey, I burned 300, 600, 1,000 calories, you know? And they think if I do that for a month, and I burn 5,000 calories, you know, I'll be five and 10 pounds lighter, but that's not true, that's not how it works out. You gotta follow the information I gave just earlier in this video. Ooh, another biker. Thought I'd give you another look at where we're going, where we have to get to to get out of here. <laughs> Let's do a... See, that's where we're going. That's where we started. <laughs> Something I was noticing on the way back. Doesn't that look like those ape skins from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> but I just wanted to state, you know, someone who's running through here, you know, on these hikes like this, these upgrades, it's gotta be for endurance. The endurance will allow you to do those long distance runs. All right, that's the trail that leads down to the parking lot. Let's take a look at the cardio watch. And uh, see if I get the, oh, perfect. 
133% of my target heart rate, supposed to be 135, that's perfect. I've been standing here a little while. And it says 861 calories. I hope I can get the focus in on that this time. And it took an hour and 20 minutes. Let's see if I get it to focus. An hour and 20 minutes. Take 20 minutes off of that for the side road I took. It's kind of cool. Some guys just came by on those bird gliders. <laughs> Two-wheeler gliders. That's what I call them. Anyway, uh, one of them gave me a compliment on my car. Love it. So, uh... Hopefully um, you got something out of the tips I gave during this uh, cardio hike and uh, I'll be doing a few others but uh, there are other types of recordings I'll be doing as well. Hope hopefully you'll take a look at them as when you get a chance. Uh, if you liked this video please click the thumbs up and hopefully you'll subscribe so you won't miss any of the well, more exciting things that I hope to be doing. All right, see you on the next one. Let's find out what my weight is. I'm trying to get all the way down to 170 and then 165. Sure hope I did my toenails. Ah, good, 170.6. Perfect.